Hello again, welcome to the channel. My name is Dina. In today's video, I want to chat to you about a problem I have with scales on my Monstera Deliciosa. Now, I have a really large established Monstera. I have been growing this plant for a couple of years now, and it has always been indoors. I never move it outdoors, even in the warmer months. Last month, it suddenly had two yellow leaves. I cut those off, but it made me wonder why it suddenly had yellow leaves. Upon closer look, I saw a couple of scales at the back of the leaves and on the petioles. Today I will move it outdoors and um, clean the scales off with uh, an old toothbrush, wipe the leaves clean with a clean cloth. If this is something that you're also dealing with, uh, keep watching because this video might be helpful to you. Let me just show you the scales I was talking about. I hope you can see this. Uh, these brown spots here at the back of the leaves and there are actually bigger ones uh, on the petiole so let me just move the camera here are the bigger scales on the petiole scales are just some of the common pests that can infect our plants they are flat or oval shaped slow moving insects they either have hard or soft shells that can come in different colors they're like vampires that suck the plant juices and cause yellow dropping leaves it was the reason why i decided to have a closer look at my monstera when a leaf turned yellow, I didn't think any of it. I thought it was just a normal leaf aging. But when a second leaf turned yellow right after the first, I was suspicious something sinister is happening. This situation is a good reminder for me to regularly check my plants to make sure that pests are not taking over. So what I'll do is I'll start scrubbing them off wash the plant down properly and apply some neem oil onto the plant and the soil to prevent further infestation. So the leaves just had a good wash and I'm giving the plant a good soak now and after that I will spray the neem oil onto the plant and the soil. I made up a mixture of one tablespoon neem oil, one teaspoon dishwashing soap in a liter of water. I will repeat the treatment in two weeks because there may be eggs left on the crevices on the soil or the pot that was missed and just continue to check and treat again as necessary. A healthy looking monstera, no more suspicious yellow leaves and visible scales mean that the treatment is working. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a like, comment, hit the bell icon and see you in my next video.